What's up, my dudes? Wow, Spencer Turley still does track reviews? What the hell is this, dog? <laughs> what even is this? What is this? What are you doing? Oh, boys. <laughs> so this is The Baked Factory, made by my home dog, Barna. Okay? Well, Frankie Barna, right? Some of you guys may know him. He's on the uh, Grown Children's team, if I'm not mistaken. Either way. Um... So, before you freak out and go, you know, oh my gosh, this track sucks. What is this track? What is this crappy track, right? This is this dude's first motocross track he's ever made. I just whistled like crazy into the mic. This is this dude's first motocross track he's ever made. And it's also his first track he's ever made in the actual track editor and not in Photoshop. You know what I mean? So, this is very early on... Very early on track making skills, right? So I just find it to be so interesting when you come in here and get on some of these people's like first, second, and third tracks and stuff because they just seem to make such unique and such one of a kind. Yeah, it might be crazy. Yeah, it might be crazy big jump faces. Might be crazy design stuff, weird looking stuff, janky feeling stuff. Yeah. It probably is just about all those things on your typical like first first track or second track or whatever that somebody makes. But they're just, there's something cool about them because it's like they get a very one-of-a-kind feeling to them because the person hasn't really learned how to like really make a track too quote-unquote perfect or too much like anybody else's track. You know, they're really just going in there and making their own track design by going in there and playing with the track editor theirself so they're really making their own one-of-a-kind feeling and I just it was just so interesting going back to and seeing a track like this because it reminded me a lot of when I first started making tracks it, it's like you're able to go in there and not not really worry about making oh man this jump face is 10 percent too peaked let me calm it down or oh man this section's a little too difficult let me make it easier or you know you don't like go through all those what i like to call jgmx protocols right <laughs> where you try to like make the track more like a quote-unquote normal track it's just like it can be anything and everything when it's somebody's first, second, third, fourth, fifth track, because they're just making something, right? They're not really like, they're not too much trying to make it like a quote unquote, really good, normal track. And it's just interesting to see stuff like this because it, it gives it some character, you know, it gives it a one of a kind feeling. And uh, yeah, some of, it, some of these jumps on this track are big hossing, dog. You're going to have to be on the gas you're going to have to be, you're going to have to like pre-lean pretty hardcore. And you, even if you're on the gas, you might still over jump it. Like a lot of them, they're not just like hold it wide open and you'll land it perfect. But you still have to be really on the throttle on a lot of these jumps. So, um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to bring that up. It's just so cool and interesting seeing people's like first tracks that they try to make in this game. Because it just seems to always make something pretty unique. You know, it just seems to always make something where it's like, wow, I haven't seen a track like that in a while. And I don't just mean like, oh, my God, it's so beginner. It's so terrible. I mean, like, just I've, I've not hit jumps like this in a while. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have uh, 2020 RF past two Supercross track rounds. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Those are pretty hardcore peaked. But uh, yeah, so either way, right here in this one little section, this is one of those things. If you're a beginner track maker, um yeah, this inside is so, like, there's no point in even going to these outside ruts at all. Literally no point at all. You can just cut the whole corner like this. And I promise you it's faster. Promise you it's faster. Because you don't even have to hit those ruts to be able to hit this jump. It'd be one thing if the jump was so big that you had to go to the outside, but you don't. So, kind of makes the where you can just go up the inside. But I don't think... uh you know, dude that made this track, Barna, I don't really think he necessarily might have thought about this. A lot of times when you're a beginner track maker, you don't really think about, like, 
what lines could people hit? What lines trying to like even out the lines and trying to make it, you know, you don't even worry about any of that shit. It's just like, you're just having fun making a track. And I, I love when people come in here and do this. Like, I love this, even though, yeah, all, all of us dudes that are like sweating, try hard, trying to go as fast as we can possibly go on the track. We're all just going to cut up this corner and not even worry about going around the outside. But like, if you're just wanting to fun ride on this track, if you're just wanting to chill ride, you know what I'm saying? You can go hit these outside burns for fun. Like, there's a whole, like, fun element to tracks like this as well. You know, it's not just all about go as fast as you can go. What's the best lines around every part of the track? And it, and it's, it's just interesting to sometimes see tracks that aren't so balanced, that aren't so perfectly made, that aren't, you know what I mean? Because that gives character. When everybody starts making their tracks too perfect, too balanced, to whatever, you lose the personality in the tracks. Then everybody's track just starts to feel like a JGMX track. Everybody's track just feels like a normal ass track, right? Like, just the way he built this berm right here and kind of how it cuts down right there, that's so unique. Most people just wouldn't make a berm like that nowadays. And that's something I've always tried to do with my own custom tracks, even to this day. And, you know, a lot of people give me flack for it because I'll go in there and make a crazy track that's like, really, Spencer, what is this? Like, what are these jumps? Why are they so difficult? Why are they so big? What, you know, I'm the furthest thing from a JGMX style track maker. But the thing is, is I continue to make unique stuff and stuff you've not ever seen before in cool different corner designs and jump designs and biome designs and all this other stuff. The only way you can continue to do that is by, you know, opening up your mind and, you know, kind of breaking out of the box and trying to do something a little weird and different. Sometimes it's going to make some weird stuff, some janky stuff. Sometimes it's going to make some cool stuff, some one-of-a-kind stuff. But, you know, I guess my advice to you, Barna, is never lose the never lose the creativity. You know what I'm saying? Never get so, like, so trying to make a perfect, like, you know, medium difficulty perfect jump faces don't i mean it's okay to go in there and make one of those kind of tracks every once in a while i'm not saying you can't but i'm just saying you know just remember how unique you made some of this stuff on this track don't ever forget how you did some of this stuff because that's what's going to make your tracks you got to do something to make your track stand out from other tracks right when you become a track maker in this game whether it's really crazy different biomes which is another thing i've always tried to do with my custom tracks you know, the first dude that's ever really made a space track, and then the dimension tracks, rainforest tracks, ski slope tracks, it just goes on and on, right? Um, so, yeah, you know, you always want to try to start kind of building a, a track maker brand in that sense. You want to start kind of trying to make your tracks different from other people's tracks in the game, and there's so many different ways you can do that, um, but either way... So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how baked you are when you're making some of these jump faces, but holy hoss, dog. <laughs> some of them, they're so peaked that you literally have to, like, you have to pre-lean on the bike before you come off these jump faces for how abrupt you're popping up off of these jump faces. It really does remind me of, like, Seattle and Denver 2020 RF Supercross tracks, literally. Like, that's how abrupt and crazy some of those jump faces feel on those newer Supercross tracks. But, uh, yeah, dog, either way, I, it was just kind of cool seeing this. It's cool seeing, uh, uh the traction still decent on this. I know that's what a lot of beginners kind of struggle with is they'll get a really bizarre, janky traction on there on their like first, you know, five tracks or whatever. And then it kind of kills the whole vibe of the track in a sense. Um, but I was actually not, not disappointed with this traction here at all i really wasn't um so yeah <laughs> these jump faces you better be ready doug it's gonna pop you up to another dimension and back but he's got some big fatty berms i really appreciated that in this day and age of making every corner flat because there's a road in mx simulator fucking it drives me crazy when people start doing that in this game with custom track building stop making flat tracks and corners stop making rolled off 10 percent tall ruts and corners because you think you know everybody's going to have 40 people on your track on a multiplayer server with the perfect amount of a road like stop doing that please thank you it was nice to see a track that you know actually had normal pre-made berms normal pre-made ruts 
stuff like that, right? Um, you can carry some crazy speed around this track for sure. But yeah, he's almost made a bit of a hybrid in the sense of it's like a motocross mixed with the fun free ride freestyle track in a way almost. A lot of these jump faces almost feel more like a freestyle jump, right? Um, it's fun when you can grease that tabletop right there. It is a lot of fun. But yeah, your first couple laps, you're just going to have to learn the distances of the jumps because like this one right here, the amount of speed you get up to this really hard to judge that to be able to slow down properly to not over jump that right there and then this <laughs> literally this reminds me of my looter oasis whoop section god dog um that's like that perfect mix between whoop and rollers so you can't really just like glide over it like it's rollers but you can't really hit them like they're whoops either so it's kind of interesting um that's about as difficult as you can possibly make like a whoop roller section on mx simulator by making it like that but um yeah it's just interesting to see stuff like this so he kind of went with more of a bit of a standard uh woodlandy not super standard woodlandy but more of like a you might could say, I don't know, kind of up in, I don't know, Washington or, you know, up where it snows a little bit, kind of, um, I don't know, maybe Alaska style, you know, something like that. It's not just like super, super standard woodland. So he does kind of have a bit of a vibe going on. Colorado, maybe you might could kind of put that together. The Bake Factory, Colorado, you know what I'm saying? Just put two and two together. It all works out, Doug. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, either way. Yeah, you know, it's not the most perfect track ever, but I I think it's pretty solid for your first uh, motocross track, first track actually made in the track editor. Uh, pretty solid for that, man, all things considering here. Uh, he's filled off his off track pretty well. Um, yeah, it is just like kind of, you know, the same tree well, no, 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 it's not the same tree. Looks like he's got maybe two different ones. Maybe three different ones. Yeah, I guess it is like three different ones because this one's, say it's kind of got the spiky vibe. This one's like just got bark all the way up to the very top almost. And then you got these that are almost like a Christmas tree. So, yeah, I guess he does have like three, three different trees or whatever. Kind of interesting how he used the cones as the... That definitely made it a little more unique. You don't see a lot of people making their doing like cones as the off track barriers, right? You don't really see a lot of people doing that, but uh, that's cool for sure. So yeah, I mean the only real thing I might would have changed. I mean yeah, the jump faces are insane. They really are, but it's all in what you're trying to make, you know. You trying to make like a standard normal track or you trying to make kind of a more fun big jumpy style track there ain't nothing wrong with making a fun big jumpy crazy face track when you're making a custom track don't let these dudes that try to just they they just want every single track to be like a perfectly made jgmx track don't let those dudes try to you know drain you of your all of your creativity you know what i'm saying they're gonna try to drain you of your creativity don't let them do it um, you know, there's that certain select group of people in the community. Like if you don't make something that's pretty much exactly a JGM extract, they're going to hate on it, period. So don't let those people kind of sway you away from making, you know, cool, unique stuff. Um, don't know what this magical tunnel is right here, but <laughs> I just noticed that there's another one over there. Oh, wow. I just noticed that kind of off in the distance. What in the... Uh... All right, this is like some Easter egg. I don't know what I'm getting into down here, but uh, either way. So, yeah. Uh, this jump right here in particular, this is the one I think I might would have changed just a little bit. Just for the simple fact of you got to take into account how much more speed you're getting when you're on like a normal lap and you come off of this right here. It's so hard to come up to a jump like that, like pretty much unlimited speed and then try to just slow down to the right speed. I might would have just made all this right here like one landing instead of like a double landing. You know, he's kind of got it like rolled down a little right here and then it rolls down again right here. Maybe just make that all one big landing. That might would have made that a little bit more rideable. Um, but other than that, I mean, every other part of it, yeah, it is insane jump faces. Yeah, it is, 
you know, definitely something you don't see every day, but I, I don't think that's just a just a thing to like instantly want to hate on it. I think too many people do that in this community. When it when something's kind of unique and different, people just instantly want to hate on it because they don't like the change. They don't like something different, right? And he's got this whole free ride area over here as well. Got a couple like jumps up in the hills and whatnot. I didn't really ride on any of that, but um, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's not really any like roughness on the track. I guess you can say that, but... Um, this whole jump rhythm section through here is pretty fun. It's fun railing these ruts all the way around the outside. Um, so yeah, just kind of like a local vibey smooth. Um, the ruts are not bad though. I mean, the berms and the ruts and the corners are not bad. Uh, but yeah, either way, overall, I still got to rate it, right? No matter if it's your first track or your 69th track, I'm still going to have to rate it like normal. Um, I would say this is probably in the neighborhood of like a six to a seven, somewhere around there, or a six to a, yeah, that's probably about where I'd put it, 6.5, something like that. It's definitely above average, for sure. Um, I mean, the jumps aren't terrible once you learn them, but yeah, they are kind of crazy and janky and whoa, um, but overall, not a terrible track. Um Six or a seven, I guess maybe a seven, yeah, it's probably about, might might be where I'd put it, um, yeah, the, the, uh, on track can kind of give you a bit more of a basic-y decal vibe look a little bit, you know, would have been cool to see it, just a smidgen more different variation color to the decal itself on the dirt, but sometimes it's just, it's just hard to kind of put all that together on a track, so, like, I understand it, but, He's got the off-track filled in pretty good. He's got a nice fence going through here around the outside. It's not a terrible off-track by any by any means. I've seen way worse off-tracks than this. So, yeah, I mean, all things considering, you know, if it's your first actual in-track editor track, yeah, definitely a 7 overall. Um, not a terrible track, but it's not like an amazing track by any stretch, right? <laughs> it's, it, you know, you can see the, the beginner elements of it and the beginner nature of it when you've seen a lot of custom tracks in this game but you know it's not terrible not terrible at all bro so either way appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes